Hello YouTube, this is David Hill over at Flow Audi in Winston-Salem once again. I'm bringing you a special video. This video is uh, by request of a couple of subscribers. The cars I have in front of me is a 2016 Audi A6, 2016 Audi A7, and a 2015 Audi A8. And I wanted to compare these cars uh, just in case you're wondering whether you should go with the A7 or the A8 or the A6. Uh, these cars are uh, very close as far as the styling goes and uh, they do range in price quite a bit but the ones I have in front of me are are a good representation of the vehicles and I can give you kind of a rundown of what you can expect from each one and how each one is different from one another so starting on the left we have the 2016 Audi A6 the A6 is a traditional luxury sedan it is our bread and butter large sedan uh, very sleek styling for 2016, you have a couple of updates. You have the new trapezoidal front grille, uh, the new LED light designs, and the 3D bumper effect. This one we're looking at as a prestige model with the three liter supercharged engine putting out now 333 horsepower and 325 pound foot of torque. And now looking at this car, it is aggressive, it is stylish, very sporty. Uh, it also has uh, the sculpted hood, those subtle lines, and the tornado line that runs the full length of the car all the way up to the new redesigned headlights. The car is a Mythos Black Metallic. It has a 20-inch wheel option, <clears throat> and the Prestige model is uh, the highest trim you can get with Audi, but there are additional features you can also opt for. So with this car, you have heads-up display. Right there, it'll show you your navigation information, also speed, turn-by-turn -turn directions, uh, safety warnings, and uh, different um, warnings, adaptive cruise, lane, lane keep assist if it's equipped on the model, uh, all kinds of nice stuff in there, so it makes it easy to uh, keep up to date and um, stay focused on the road itself. Uh, you might notice by the rear view mirror, you also have the radar for adaptive cruise, the auto rain sensing wiper blade sensor, and the heated auto dimming exterior mirror. This one has the bright chrome finishes around, so you notice the front grille, door handles, and the trunk lid all have a uh, very nice chrome accent to them. So a little more traditional luxury. Uh, the A6 and A7 for 2016 got darkened tail lights from the factory. You can see this looks a little bit different than this all road over here. Those are a little brighter. This one is a little more sleek. Uh, it gives it a nice little touch. And uh, the rear is also redesigned. So you have the trapezoidal design for the exhaust tips. You have the honeycomb mesh for the S-Line exterior package. And the new design Quattro badge little bit of an update right there. The A6 starts out in the low 50s with the four-cylinder turbo engine and this one comes in uh, right in the high 60s. So we're going to take a look at the sticker. As far as the pricing on the A6, this is going to be the best on the wallet. So you're looking at about $65,000, $695 for this one. S-Line Sport Package and 20-inch uh, wheels. A6 Prestige heads-up display, LED lights, uh, front ventilation and heating seats, Bose surround sound, warm weather package, LED interior lighting, and the power opening and closing trunk. Now the vehicle's on right now, so I can't demonstrate what the power trunk can do, but you do have uh, a feature on this trunk where you wave your foot underneath it. It will actually open it for you. Same with the A7. Trunk size is very good on the A6. Plenty of storage space. The seats also fold down flat and you have a pass-through as well. You can see the subwoofer up there. Grocery hooks are equipped with a lot of our cars too. <coughs> and a full spare tire underneath. There's the A6. Now the A7 is fundamentally different. This car is a four-door coupe through and through. So 
very different as far as the styling goes. This is on a Porsche Panamera chassis. Uh, low, low shoulder line. Very sleek looking car. Comes to the tip right there. And it does have a retractable spoiler that operates automatically at 80 miles per hour. You can manually put that up as well. The wheels on this car are 20 inch, uh, basically the wheels off of the new S7 that's on equipped on this car. This is part of the black optic sport package. Now what's that going to do that makes it a little different? You notice that A6 has a lot of bright chrome work. This one has all black chrome on the grill, the, where the fog lights would be, but of course the Audi does not need it because it has LED positioning lights. The window surrounds are all black chrome as well. You can see that right there. Kind of adds to the sportiness of it. Looks great with the black on black. Both of these cars are Mythos black on the outside. And on the A7 you do not have that extra chrome strip on the back tailgate like you do on the A6. Go ahead and open up the back of the A7. A lot of people like that this has much more storage space and easier access. And you can see the frameless windows there. A6 and A7 all have dual acoustic uh, front windows. So the passenger side and the driver's side front windows are dual pane and uh, makes it very quiet on the inside. So this power tailgate opens up, you can see it has a large storage space and uh, even more so with the seats down. So if it's just if it's just you or you and your wife and you have some uh, longer items, take advantage of Black Friday shopping or something like that, then uh, you have tremendous space back here. You can see the seats fold down almost completely flat and that gives you a ton of storage space. Very similar to a hatchback style car. Very roomy on the inside. The back seat is about the same size as the A6 but the, you lose a slight bit of headroom. You can see by the uh, design of the roof. But what they did in the A6, uh, A7, sorry, is they put in these extra pockets. I don't know if you can see that or not with the video, but they put these extra pockets, fully operable sunroof, but behind that you have extra room for your head. So uh, I have no problem. I'm about 6'1", sitting back in the back seat of that car. Now the A8, this is the Mac Daddy. So this car uh, comes in at about 85. This one in particular, it's a premium model, 20 inch wheels. Uh, more of the traditional sedan styling. You can see the black, uh, the, sorry, the bright chrome work throughout. And this is just the pinnacle of luxury when it comes to Audi. You have the tall front, very tall, very large, kind of feels like the king of the road. This is an L version, so it is longer than the A7. Has a huge amount of uh, rear seat leg room. You could pretty much fit shack back there. <clears throat> also in a Mythos black metallic. You can see the A8 is just dripping with luxury. You have the Alcantara on the door inserts. Uh, heated steering wheel is part of that premium package as well. Adaptive cruise, heads up display, more speakers with a sound system, heated ventilated seats, and the big, big two panel sunroof. See this panel will vent, this panel will operate all the way back. A8 has a ton of space, a lot of great luxury features. Just want to show you the difference in the size of these cars, though, and the trunk. So you can see the back seat is huge. Going back, get back here. This is probably the biggest benefit to the A8. This is a ton of legroom. And of course, you have the sunroof. For your back passengers, you have LED lit privacy uh, vanity mirrors LED lighting on the inside all the way around you can change the colors of it um, you also have events in the B pillar speakers all the way around both surround sound and then Bang & Olufsen as well that is available and what's really cool is in the back you have 
extra cup holders, your own climate zones, and heated rear seats. Now you do have that in the A6 and A7, but I just think it's really cool with this. This also allows you the option of having the reclining rear seats. Uh, iPads attached here and a champagne cooler that would go back here. Now this one doesn't have it, and it might be hard to find that car. You might have to order that, but this is a fantastic place to be. The A8 is phenomenal. You have that analog clock underneath the uh, display area and the almost yacht-like shifter for the eight-speed transmission. Now let's take a look at the back. <clears throat> back of the trunk is also power. So you can just flip that switch and open the trunk up. Very large trunk space back here. And I'm gonna show you some styling cues from the A8. They're a little different from the A7 and A6. <clears throat> so let's get one more shot of these lights. Now the A8 is not smoked from the factory, but it has some very elegant touches. You can see the chrome strip runs the full length of the trunk. Also, in the back, chrome strip wraps around the outside of the car, and I really like the way that these exhaust pipes are integrated in here. It looks very nice, very clean. Fantastic looking car. As always, I hope this vehicle, uh, sorry, this video was helpful for you guys. I'd be more than happy to answer questions. Uh, in your comments below, make sure you subscribe, like the video if you found this helpful whatsoever. And for the last measure, I'm just gonna go ahead and open the trunk, uh, sorry, the hood, so you can see the engine compartment. The A8 is a lot larger because it also has a V8 twin turbo option, but this is the V6 supercharged. A7 also has the V6 supercharged right there. And the A6, basically the same engine compartment. Go and find somebody else on YouTube that's going to do three cars all in one take during his lunch break. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.